about 10 years ago, Shared Hope rescued me. They gave me skills. I became a human being. Um, at least that's how I felt. I felt human again. I felt like I belonged to something and that I did deserve life. And I strive to move forward in life. I really did. And I've come a long ways. Your past is your past and it does not define who you are. You can make your own destiny. You can write your own chapter to your own story because I did. And I know that if I can do it, you can do it. I was a street kid. Um, I was abused in every which way you could possibly think of uh, from family members and others. I've grown up with a lot of abuse in my life, uh, sexually, physically, um, emotionally, and it came from the hands of my stepfather, the only father I knew. And in my book, that's just a line that nobody should cross. I ended up running to the streets uh, 11 years old, um, became a street kid in uh, downtown Seattle and traveled all over. One man after another decided to just use me and abuse me or trick me or deceive me. And I had a really, really bad drug problem. I didn't know how to say no. Of course, I was never taught how to say no. I was given IV drugs at a very young age. And so there just wasn't a no for me. I, that's just the life I thought, not that I deemed like I deserved, it's just the only life I knew. Most of my life was street life, running, gunning, uh, in and out of juvie. I got released, I went straight back to the streets because I didn't know what else to do. I didn't have a support system. I didn't have anybody that said, hey, you can have this life or you can do this or you can do that. Or I didn't even have anybody to encourage me except for to encourage me to do bad. You know, I worried about where was I gonna get my next fix? Where was I gonna get food? Where was I gonna stay warm? Where was I gonna get cleaned up because I smelled and I was dirty, but then I didn't wanna clean up because then some guy would want to use me. You're scared and you don't know what's gonna happen next. That's just the way life was. I went in and out of prison. My last prison stay, I, I gave birth to my oldest daughter and uh, it changed my life. It wrecked me to no end. Having to go home and not having my daughter with me, it hurt and I cried and I mourned. It felt like something in me was missing. No mother should have to go without their child and no child should have to go without their mother. But that's what happened because of the choices that I made. However, my life didn't completely turn around until Shared Hope found me. They really invested their time into me and they really invested their love into me. They shared so much of who they were into me that it gave me hope. 
It gave me encouragement and it just, it changed my life. I met Linda Smith, had lunch with her. She invited me to Shared Hope. Knowing Linda Smith uh, has been a game changer for me. She is definitely, uh, she's like a great mama to a lot of people. And she doesn't leave anybody left behind. She will give the shirt off her back so that somebody else doesn't have to go without. She invited me to Shared Hope. I interviewed for the WIND program and um, I got in. And I've come a long ways. They taught me who I can be, who I can become, and I became that person. I'm a very strong-willed, independent individual. Find the strength in whatever it is you need to do so in order to do it. I found mine in God. My faith is in God. I got really, really involved in our church. Uh, I did single parenting classes, cell groups, small groups, Bible studies, um, you know, stuff like that. It just, it was good. I have two beautiful children and I shouldn't have had children, but God was better and I believe that. Oh. <laughs> I'm going on 11 years now, uh, clean and sober. I'm a mother, I'm a wife. I started wanting to own a home eight years ago. I checked my credit report and I had some damaging news on there and uh, I started attacking it a little bit by, at a time. And before I know it, we're getting ready to move into our home that we bought ourselves. And uh, my husband and I share a small business. And wow, we have a business car and two dogs, two cats, a whole bunch of animals. Friendships that are just deep and meaningful. Today, I the only thing I have to worry about, what am I cooking for dinner? Basically, what am I pulling out of the freezer to defrost in the refrigerator to cook for dinner? I worry about, are my kids gonna wake up in the morning so they can have some kind of routine so they can do schoolwork? You know, teenagers, they'd like to sleep in. And the things I worry about now are so mundane that it's pointless. And it's just, there's just so much freedom in where I'm at now in life. I'm comfortable in my own skin. I'm happy where I am. There's no doubt that I regret where I come from because I don't. It's molded me of who I am today. And it's always going to impact who I'm going to be tomorrow. And I'm okay with that. It's, I'm strong. And I'm okay with that too.